Hello everyone, my name is Isa and I'm a solution engineer here at Pipefy. Today, I'll demonstrate how Pipefy helps customer service teams handle different types of customer requests. When speaking of customer requests, some examples come to mind. Account adjustments, such as sharing copy of documents and updating bank transfer information. Sales and after-sales requests, such as purchasing new products or services. And even cancellation or return requests. Over the years, we have worked with a variety of market-leading companies, and we have noticed some common pain points in the customer request processes, such as processes without standard that generate a high-resolution lead time and hinder deadline management, low communication quality obstructing team collaboration and impacting customer visibility over the request, limited process status visibility, which prevents high performance and affects the leader's ability to monitor and control metrics and indicators and highly manual procedures that take up the team's time with low-value tasks. If these issues sound familiar, our platform can help. With Pipefly, you can Standardize the process structure and the input of information, guaranteeing efficiency in your team's activities. Optimize communication with all stakeholders through tracking portals, notifications, automatic messages, and email. Easily access all process data in a single place, promoting up-to-date deadline and KPI visibility. And customize the platform with your own business rules, so the workflow runs automatically and error-proof while your team focuses on the tasks that really matter. Inside Pipefy, we can identify three main roles for a customer service operation. Requesters, which are our customers. Agents, that represent our customer service analysts. And leaders, responsible for the operation. Let's dive deeper into these three roles in this example. A request starts when the customer submits a demand to the team through WhatsApp, email, or using a form. Then, the analyst should handle and solve this request in an organized and consistent way throughout a standard process. All this operation is guided by the leader that monitors the team's performance and has access to the process data. Now, let's start our tour with the customer's point of view. For the customer, it is relevant that opening new requests is easy and fast. In Pipefy, there are many ways to open new requests, so you can choose what fits your requester best. One of the core ways of opening requests is through a standard form, where we guarantee all needed data is inputted using customized fields and setting them as mandatory. This form can be available through a link in your company's website or even through a QR code. Another alternative is centralize all your forms in a customer portal, easily customized inside Pipefy. As a customer, we just have to fill in the fields and insert our contact email. Simple as that, the customer receives a link to a request tracker where we will be up to date with all the activity performed over our requests and can quickly open a channel of communication with the analyst that is handling our requests. Another example is the use of messaging, such as SMS, facilitating the channel to open your requests. We just send a message to the virtual assistant and answer some quick questions. All that information is sent back to Pipefy in the same way that happens with a form. Now that new requests were sent to the customer service team, let's go check their routine using Pipefy. By accessing the work environment, we choose the process we would like to work on, in this case, customer requests, where all requests are centralized no matter which channel the customer chose to use. Here, we have a full overview of the process's steps and requests. We, as analysts, can quickly see everything in an organized and prioritized manner, identifying deadlines and finding which requests belong to us. New requests will always arrive in the first step, where we can choose one and start working on it. Notice that some information is already available automatically. Here, the analyst responsible is assigned according to a predefined business rule, and the deadline is inserted according to the creation date. All this to help us avoid manual work and follow the company's internal policies without error. Now, we can focus on the job that really matters. 
analyze if the request's relevant data is available for us to move forward with the request. Here, we have a partnership request related to one of our products. As all information we need is available, let's assign the priority and move forward with this request. The platform is already set to move requests around according to the type and answers given in previous steps. In this case, related to a sales and after sales request, the next step is contact. Other requests such as account adjustments will go through processing before moving forward. Let's continue attending this request. Here, the analyst can schedule a meeting with the customer to align partnership expectations. We just select a meeting date and click send. Without ever leaving Pipefy, we send an invitation in the customer's calendar. We can take notes of what we discussed and even open an opportunity directly to our sales team without leaving this request. As this is done, we can close this request. Let's click in Move Forward and it will be stored in Done. Now, let's take a second example. Here we have a service cancellation request. We screen the information and then it will go over to Processing. If the cancellation is not reversible, we can attach the cancellation document and send it for the customer's signature. This request moves forward while we wait for the customer to reply. They will receive the document in their email to be signed, and as soon as it is signed, the document goes back to Pipefy in the cancellation step. Now everything is set for cancellation, and we can close another request. To make sure we are being inefficient in our service, a satisfaction survey is sent to the customer. They can answer it directly on their phone, through message, or using the platform that suits them best, such as email or a proper form. All that to guarantee an assertive approach with the customer and make sure we get a high response rate. To finish up, let's now switch to the leader's view. As leaders, PyFi will help us manage the team's permissions and what they can view inside the platform. Additionally, we can extract the quality of our analyst services according to the satisfaction survey we sent, along with other metrics in our dashboard tool. We can monitor performance and quickly identify improvement opportunities, such as reducing the average request lead time of our team. If you are already used to other analysis tools, such as Tableau or Power BI, we can also connect Pipefy to deliver the process data to them. Whichever way you prefer, within dashboards or in the workflow itself, customization is only a few clicks away with Pipefy's no-code interface. We can either add a new chart to the dashboard here, or, for example, create a new step in our process in a matter of seconds. Therefore, we have total governance over our operation, with every information and every tool at hand to enable a seamless process that evolves consistently. And with that, we finish this quick demonstration of a customer request process. If you have questions, feel free to reach out to our community or contact our team through email or through the PipeFight chat.